Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the Nokia Expert site. A few months back I bought the AT&T Nokia E71X and now we have the second device, most current device from AT&T, which is the Nokia Surge. This is, uh, this is the retail packaging. It's, as you can see it's a pretty small packaging. Nice device. Got some pictures in my review and I just wanted to do a little video. So the Nokia Surge, and here it is in my hand, is uh, quite compact. It does run S60 Feature Pack 2, as I'll show you when we run through the display. Um, it's reasonably priced. I believe it's about uh, $80, $79.99. Um, and, you know, I'm a high-end kind of smartphone user, so I'm looking for something pretty powerful. This is actually quite powerful, but it's more for the messaging crowd, as we'll see. So let's just take a look around the hardware, and then we'll dive into some of the software. Looking at the hardware, we've got uh, the pad down here with a end, excuse me, with the send and end, right? Now this end here is also the on-off button, so you press and hold to turn off. Um, and here is the left, left and right soft keys and a directional pad. Going up, a, there's a display there, um, I'm not sure on the resolution or the size, I have to check. Seems probably about the same size, like 2.4 or something, but I'm not sure about the resolution. And then over here we've got uh, Nokia Sign. This is the headset speaker, so when you hold it up. And then over here on the uh, left side, we've got three buttons. And um, one of the buttons is the uh, internet. This one is the menu button. If you also press and hold the menu button, you'll see what is running. And this is the messaging. Now both the messaging and this email one are customizable. So you can switch to whatever you want. Also on the home screen, the left and right soft keys are customizable as well as some of the other keys on the device. Now as we go around over to the right side, we see there's a volume up and down and a camera button right there. On the bottom, we've got a battery release button that we push down and pry off the battery. Over here on this side, we've got the USB, which is micro USB, and this is not for charging, um, unless my cable wasn't working. I believe this is only for syncing to your computer. Up on the top, we've got the mono speaker here, which is actually quite loud. We've got a 2.5mm headset jack, and actually there's not even a headset in the box, so... That's a little bit odd. And then underneath here we have the fairly standard uh, old 2.5 millimeter, I believe. Um, maybe a little less. It's the standard Nokia charging port, which is underneath the cover. And jumping around to the back, you can see there's directions on how to remove the battery. Over here in the corner we have a fairly standard uh, Nokia 2 megapixel camera. So not a blow away camera, but not a bad one as well. And that's around the device. Now the big feature of the device, of course, is the keyboard. So, as you can see, it has a nice, pretty solid, uh, ooh, pretty solid feel to the slider there. And there's the keyboard. Now the keyboard, um, the buttons are pretty large, as you can see there. Pretty good spacing between the buttons. It feels a, a little bit plasticky and cheap, but remember this is an $80 phone. Um, so I'm not sure how high a quality. I'm actually able to type very fast uh, because of the good spacing and because of a few other things like the question mark, the period, uh, there's our left and right sh shift key, a large space bar, there's a function key over here, symbol key there. So everything is uh, pretty well designed as far as spacing and a couple of buttons here and a couple of key buttons with the period and that kind of thing. And as you can see, it bounces back and forth. Um, when you open the screen to landscape and then to come over, I don't know if I have to unlock it, I have to unlock it to uh, come back over to portrait mode. It'll actually bounce between portrait and landscape automatically too if you set that up. Okay, so let's just uh, turn off the light here and get a, uh, I'll show you the, the backlighting. So there's the backlighting of the buttons there. Let's pop open the keyboard, show you the backlighting on the keyboard as well in the dark. And let's just kind of look at the uh, applications. This is full S60 feature pack 2 here. Uh, this is kind of the default home screen with uh, some of the apps. Now you can customize, uh, as you can see up top here as I'm scrolling through, you can customize those six applications. 
the left and right soft button as well and you can uh, I haven't dove into all the details but there were some settings that I saw for customizing what shows up on the display over here we've got my signal and the battery life so if I press the menu button just to see what we've got in here if you saw my Nokia E71X review it's pretty standard what comes on here there's a lot of AT&T stuff you know this folder here has AT&T nav which is which is actually excellent um, as where which is a paid subscription plenty of paid subscription things here uh, mail for exchange was loaded on the device so I've got that set up and then we have yellow pages media Net, which is the browser the media mall AT&T music and as you can see here there's the XM radio it's available music ID which is like Shazam and uh, a few other applications it's got I am an email so you can set up your email with the mobile email instant messaging is uh, application here with uh, AIM, MSN, Yahoo, address book, games and apps is where you find uh, a few select games mostly demos from uh, as you can see it's actually a radio which uh, there is an FM radio in the device however you will need a wired headset and that's not provided so out of the box you can't really use the radio unless you have a headset for it my stuff is the new way that they organize music and things like that tools of course is all your different tools and some applications as you can see in here the camera quick office which is viewer only there's no creation with that message reader you know reads your text messages and things the camera application and that's one thing I really have to test is a 2 megapixel camera to see how powerful it is and popping into settings you can see all the different settings that we have and we go to config to really dive into our personalization, how the slide is handled, own key, that's what I'm talking about here. So you've got uh, your left and right, or these two buttons down here, the far left and the far right that you can handle, that you can customize. And if you want a personalization, you can customize the idle screen mode and theme and shortcuts. Um, so it is full S60, so there's plenty of customization that can go on, including. Um, you know your folder structure and things like that although AT&T does limit a few parts of the folder structure as we saw previously now let me just take a quick browse over to the browser well that's one thing I'll check let's check see what version of the browser this is this is the S60 browser of course so if we go to options help no is there an options setting about or something let me see I'm not quite sure what the version is. The last one I had had uh, a help file, but as you can see, it's quite a powerful application. I'm sorry, I can't find the version if it's a 7.1 that's recently launched on a few applications. But as you can see, this is the default home screen, which I will, of course, change soon. Um, let's see. So that's kind of a look at everything. I haven't loaded anything on there myself yet, as far as Gmail and Google Maps and all that kind of thing. It does have cellular video, which is actually quite nice because it gives you, uh, oops, sorry, free video content if you have an unlimited data plan. So there you can go, you can browse around and see what kind of video content there is. All right, so that's kind of a first quick look at uh, the Nokia Surge. Let's see, the technical name is, well, it says Nokia Surge, but 6790, all right? And as you can see on the box here, it comes with the device, a battery, wall charger, a CD, a warranty card, and getting started card. So it doesn't come with a headset, but this device does have, you know, S60. It's got the messaging, um, camera, a GPS, web browser, um, so it's actually a pretty full featured device and it's highly optimized towards messaging. I've actually spent um, half of the basketball game tonight with my daughter who I was watching and my wife was up in a soccer game texting back and forth to my wife and I was actually very quick on this device and I think this may appeal to uh, the messaging crowd and the teens. It's kind of a, a little bit of a 
odd form factor here I guess but uh, S60 as we all know is quite powerful and um, plan on testing this out over the next couple of weeks and uh, thinking you know if I really enjoy this and get some more time with it I may start uh, developing the uh, Nokia Surge help pages and further Q&A on the Surge uh, similar to what I did with the E71X so thanks for watching